So you like this bike more than any other bike I've brought home, why? Uh, it looks really good. So it's kind of like, I've had a few people message me on Instagram and say they reckon it looks like a Ferrari and I'm pretty sure that... Why do you think it looks like a Ferrari? I don't actually like Ferraris. I like okay. this bike better, to okay. be honest. <laughs> Ferrari can be a bit of a wanker car. Yeah. This doesn't look like a wanker bike. No. It's it's really good looking. Like it's, um, I think it's not like flashy, but it's smooth and like it's seamlessly put together, like all the way down to the fully integrated drink bottle holders. Yes, there you go. I think that's worth $11,000 in itself. Yeah. Can I get one? I don't know, why don't you ask BMC in Switzerland? BMC in Switzerland, please, can I have a time machine? <laughs> <laughs> so that was my wife who has seen me bring a lot of road bikes home over the years, but never before has she been more impressed with the BMC time machine road, which is sitting behind me. We'll get more into that shortly. If you've just landed on this series, this is a 10 week series that I'm putting together, training for the men's masters, nationals, road race and criterium race in about six or seven weeks time. And in this video, what I want to do with you is share with you a massive spanner that has been thrown into the works, which is going to affect this series. And in addition to that, I want to share with you a little ride that I went on with my wife yesterday. Actually, it was my last ride on the BMC time machine that didn't end out the way I had anticipated. But just while we're sort of talking about road bikes, and I'm about to hand this back to Trilogy Cycles. I'm at the front of their bike shop now. I've had it for two weeks. I think I'm gonna be getting a new road bike, one that's perhaps in the more affordable category to test and then review and, and share with you, but we'll find out about that shortly. I just wanted to mention that I've talked about giving away a road bike to a lucky subscriber a week before Christmas. Now, I haven't announced what that road bike is yet, but I'm gonna be announcing that probably, I'd say in the next two to three weeks maximum. So stay tuned for that. And let's get in to the little ride I went on yesterday with my wife, which not only didn't end out so well, I also put my foot in it quite massively. Hey. Let's go to a little video, is that alright? So, I was sitting at my desk and my wife, Alice, she's over there. <laughs> I said no initially, but it's my last opportunity to ride on the magnificent BMC time <laughs> machine. And okay, also, okay. I get the opportunity the to ride. Just openly admitted that the only reason he's going on this ride with me is for the BMC yeah. and not, not for me. Yeah, but you like the bike, don't you? You think I'm it's pretty nice? I'm listening to Metallica right now <laughs> and the music suits how I feel about you <laughs> in this moment. But you do like the bike, you got to admit. It's my favourite. Yeah, there you go. That you've brought home. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Cool. All right, well, let's get into it. Thanks for inviting me. I appreciate it. bike ride and now you're wearing headphones listening to Metallica. They are very good though. <laughs> <laughs> Which is partially dangerous. Yeah. And you're having a go at me about the BMC saying I prefer to ride with that than you. And you're listening to music. Well, I've got Lars in my ears. What is it today, temperature wise? It's about 26, 20... 27. Isn't that unbelievable? It's winter on the sunshine coast. touched it. So Cameron, it's been in there since I've had the bike. That's incredibly weird. I haven't touched it. So I've got a flat tire on the last ride in the BMC and I've realized my tube that I was carrying is a 60 mil and I need probably a 70 or 80 at least. And he's stolen the one out of my And Alice's already. Alice's has just disappeared. Out of here. You continue to do your thing. Have you got your phone? Yeah. Oh no, I don't actually. I don't even have my phone. I was oh, rushing out. You have to go to call me an Uber. Really embarrassing. Good job, Nikki. Hope I don't get a flat on the way home. 32 bucks? Yeah. That's how much the, the last ride on the BMC is costing me 32 bucks. That's not too bad. Oh, David John's in a Toyota Prius. How on earth are you going to get your bike in there? Uh, well, I think I've got a... So I've at least got... Yeah, I've got this. I can take the front wheel off. Alright, I'll leave All right, you to I it. Thank you. you. Love you. Here's the Uber. 
How are you, mate? Not too bad. You're obviously not Alice, but that gives it away. No, there's my wife there. <laughs> Hang on, I'll get my glasses on. <laughs> all right. You can put the other seat down if you like. No, it's all good actually. I probably could have left the wheel on in the end. Thanks for that. Yeah, but you never know what sort of car you're going to get. Thanks for that, mate. There's one camera back. <laughs> hey, Alice, I'm all good. Bye. <laughs> Thank you, mate. I'll beat you home. See you, mate. Hey, Keith, how are you, mate? Oh, hey, thanks Stop, for, mate. thank you for the uh, the lens. Magnificent road bike. The only fault was uh, there's a flat tire <laughs> on it. Outside of that, it was absolutely magnificent. All good, mate. <laughs> Glad you enjoyed it. Absolutely. What are your customers Goodness. saying about this bike, mate? The amount of attention that these bikes have had in the shop has been unreal. Right. Um, Just everyone, the aesthetics. Yeah, aesthetics, yes. But those that have ridden it, yeah. raving about it. Yeah, so, right. What do they rave about? Super comfortable, yeah. uh, really stiff aero bike, yet comfortable. Yeah, so it's not just an all out stiff bike. Yeah, Super you're ruining my, re my review. <laughs> <laughs> um, and you've got something else I can take off your hands, see? I do, mate. Yes. Um, so, how much is this one? You're looking at three and a half. This is an entry level BMC road machine yeah. disc running yeah. 105 mechanical. Yeah. Um, we've had great results with these bikes, people love them. Yeah, okay. So I can take it off your hands now, or you've got... Um, this particular one, I've got someone demoing for a week. Okay. This coming week, so... A couple of weeks time? A couple of weeks, come get your hands on it, take it out. Magnificent, it I look forward to it. It's that color scheme as well, it's magnificent. So there's a little bit of insight into the next road bike review on this channel. So after the time machine, I'll be doing the team machine, but that team machine's at probably a more affordable level for most people. And I've had a lot of requests from channel supporters, also a channel patron, Raven. You've got to start reviewing some more affordable road bikes. So I've been listening, and that one will be coming in the next month or two. And I'm about to run inside and edit this video because the day you're watching it is the day that I'm shooting it. The thing that I also wanted to share with you in this video is there's been a bit of a spanner that's been thrown into the works when it comes to this 10 week series that I'm putting together. Now, what I've recognized over the years is I've typically got a three to four month block in the year where it's a little bit quieter and I normally use that block to target a specific event and use it to train heavily for an event. And earlier this year, I whiteboarded all the events with my wife, family events, travel events, all sorts of things. And we identified that back end of the year was a good time for me to be able to train heavily and identified that the Men's Masters National Road Race was a good target event. Nothing was gonna get in the way. I looked at all the events, everything was covered but as it turns out, I could have been a bit more proactive about this. It's a, it's a learning. A good mate of mine, a very good mate of mine, who's actually a groomsman in my wedding, his brother sent me an email. You've got mail. Over the weekend, he sent it to a whole bunch of other guys as well, indicating the Bucks party. I didn't even think about the Bucks party. It hadn't been organized at the time when I whiteboarded with my wife, and I only found out about it three days ago. The Bucks party in Melbourne is on the exact same day as the Men's Masters Nationals road race in South Australia, but this Bucks party is in Melbourne. And I'm not gonna lie to you, initially I had that selfish thought. I was like, stuff it, and I've already locked this in. I'm committed to doing it. I'm gonna still go and do it. And then the overwhelming amount of guilt poured over me, and I was like, nah, my mate will only get married once, or I hope he only gets married once. It's an important day. I need to be there. So the event, the Men's Masters National Road Race, I can do it any other year. So for the time being, I'll keep the series going. I still want to get fit. I want to compete. I've looked at other events that fall around the same time of year, and nothing is quite as cool as the Nationals Masters. But I'm sure I'll find something. So what I want to do is next week, we're just going to have a week off this series. I'm going to put some thought into how we can re-engineer things. And then I'll come back to you in two weeks time with an update on where we take this series. But I've still got some great videos lined up external to this series, including the BMC Time Machine first impressions, which will be with you next week. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.